Well, I don't want to play that way. I want to play with the pro controller, so you guys can go fuck yourselves, okay? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to 30 Issues Gaming. I'm Phil the Issues Guy. I am here to play a little bit of Mario for a couple of hours. Or an hour, or whatever. Start in assist mode? I don't want to start in assist mode. That's a joke, right? Fucking joke. Already trying to hold my hand and the game hasn't even started yet. Dirty motherfuckers. Check. Here we go. Hey, Broke, what's going on, buddy? Oh, no! Whoa, ho, ho. Silly Wookie. Silly Plumber. Not my hat! Is the sound mix okay, Broke? Do I need to turn the game down or myself up at all? Oh, no! Princess Peach! What a dick. Super fucking jealous. Sweet, thank you, bro. Mario's poor hat. Huh? Looks like a used piece of toilet paper after one had an accident. Accident. I'm using I'm using someone else's lighter. <laughs> Good. Hey, listen. Wake up. Stop telling me to use... Fucking assholes. Wake up. Can... <laughs> Can the fate of the Mushroom Kingdom really be based on such a lazy plumber? Wake up. I've got, I've got some spaghetti for you. What? <laughs> what? Spaghetti? Am I in the upside down here or something? Wow, they weren't kidding. Like, Mario, the way he moves, he moves a lot smoother than other, other games where maybe it felt like he was sludgy a little bit. Mario's moving very fucking smooth. It actually feels pretty quick. And I run that way too with my arms out when I'm happy. Splish flash, Mario's taking a bath. All about a Monday morning. Rub a dub, there's some water in my tub. Hi, Froggy. I kind of want to rollerblade around here for some reason. I'm Mario. I'm your fucking master, motherfucker. Come to me. I don't give a fuck. Did you fix my hat yet? You cobbler, you peddler, you poopy. Buck a bum. Buck a bum. Oh, Mario. Ho ho. 
Calf Kingdom, of course. <laughs> what a dirty bastard that Bowser is. Before listening to Stephanie's play, it's interesting that they chose to have the characters have like sim sim talk. For the rest of this podcast, I'm not going to be speaking in words. I'm going to be speaking in sim Animal Crossing Mario speak. Oh, big beef dozo is a bad. Oh, cool. Oh, no. Eat it. It's merging with my hat. Did that hat just have sex with my hat? Position my teeth with more shikat of two pushka. Baba babushka, zasha shasha, shasha ni. So this is where playing with the two controllers pays off. Like I'm not doing it because I like the pro controller too much. I mean, I might try the other way. Stephanie plays that way with both those things in her hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you take this. It broke. Want a hat? Take my fucking hat. I wish this worked. I wish I could just throw my hat at things and it gives me money. Done with any motion game, right? Now. So I can shake it to throw it too. Yeah, fuck that. Go to Temple 2 to get the blue hat so I can throw it far further. Holy shit, look at that! Again, I'm like Scrooge McFucking Duck. Totally a Zelda sound. I'm such a fanboy. I wish I could uh, play as Link in this universe.
see what I gotta say. I definitely. Oops, there I go. Possession time. Um. Holy shit. This, this is creepy as fuck. Reminds me of Majora's Mask a little bit when the, like the first couple times Link gets in other people's masks. Super creepy. <laughs> Love the mustache. Whoa! Luigi, eat a dick. Jumping and such feels like a lot more natural and, and cool in this than any other 3D Mario already. They have the feel of Mario down really well. Oh no, this is... Uh, Stephanie asked me if I wanted to play, but in that time period, uh, Stephanie did all the playing. I played for like a half a second when we tried out two players and realized it wasn't what we thought it was. So this is technically my first time really playing. I was half watching Stephanie doing this the other day, but I was also dealing with my computer dying and shit, so I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> bigger so I can see you. So yeah, this is my, uh, my first. This is my first time. Ow! Hey, Carol. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Especially in a game like this. Stephanie doesn't fuck around in games like this. <clears throat> Come on, you fucking... Rabbit. Pirate. Like, what am I gonna... I'm trying to say something cool there. I have to light some candles. I'm gonna light my hat on fire and throw it at the candles. Thank you, Nintendo, for teaching me well. Oh my goodness, give me the coins. Give me the loot. I'm an Italian man. Give me the loop, give me the loop, and I'm an Italian man. You 
You should, Carol. It's, or, I mean, it's freaking amazing. It's another fucking hit. Hit an excellently fun game. I've only played the first one yet, so already, like, yes, this is why I bought a Nintendo Switch. And it feels like as much care and concern went into this game as went into Breath of the Wild for Zelda. And that's, I, immediately from watching Steph play a couple of hours of it and me playing now, I think that's the most important thing and what people want out of a Nintendo game is them showing off their developing awesomeness. And if you like Mario, right away I can tell you you're going to fucking love this game. The wedding planner? The Brutals? Fucking brutal bastards. Uka baka ju baka da ka ba, malaka wuki. Dunga doogi doo doos, dunga doogi 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 doo doos. Oh, you're fucked. You're so fucked. Killing you. Take that. Oh yeah, bomb a doo 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 doo. Oh fuck, fuck me. Some weird fucking game of the cup game. <laughs> Take my hat. Take it. Yeah, yeah, you need that. <laughs> Ooh, you. Go to bed, young rabbit. Tricks are for kids. Now I'm about to turn into that electric gremlin. There we go. Or like that really horrible horror movie called Shocker. Even though I love it. It's one of those movies that's bad, so bad. to start the game can also feel how this game can get probably get really hard at some point in time or difficult if they wanted to do that kind of challenge that's gotta feel shocking <laughs> horrible This game looks fucking beautiful too. My TV. laggy for a second. It's just bad fucking wireless. If it ever gets laggy, let me know and I can... I should be back and up and running now and I turned down my... my 16 bits per second. I, I turned down my settings a little bit. Definitely let me know if, if it ever gets super laggy. A little lag is normal, but... Yahoo! 
So these these power moons, from what I can imagine, are the ways that I need to like the stars or something I need to collect to go to the next galaxy. I get it now. I have to get the moon and then splooge it in there to build a sail to be able to fly to the next area. And once I have all the sails, I can go to any area I want. So how many more Odysseys do I need? Four? I think I'm getting some four fucking Odysseys. And that's where the freeformness of it, because it doesn't matter how I get my Odysseys, I'm probably several different ways to get In each area. I've been spoiled to this. AP Rex. Oh yeah. Motherfucker. Jurassic Park of this fucking bitch. Dinosaur. Can I do that? It's been pretty widely reported that Super Mario Bros. 1 exists in this game in these little small areas. It definitely feels like Super Mario 1. The controls definitely switch up. It feels almost exactly the same. Except the fact that you can't be little Mario, you're just big Mario with hearts. Yeah, the Super Mario aspects of this feel very natural and very cool. And I'll double what's supposed to wear. It really feels seamless. Oh, 
Hachu, you've done it, and now we've got a multi-moon. I got a multi-moon once, back in 1964. I was only 36 years old then.
That is. I'd be just as concerned flying around in a giant hat. This is actually really helpful. Fucking hat. Hey, analysis. <clears throat> Do I have to dress up like a woman to smuggle my way into no vows in this particular place?
Cheating. Cheating built right in the game. I love the feel of just being able to go anywhere. I mentioned this earlier, but Mario really has never felt this smooth. Even in like Galaxy 64 Sunshine, he felt kind of uh, blocky in his movements. Battle of Phil versus the Cactus won. The Cactus wins. Sweet Hopper. Hopper's fucking awesome. I'm not gonna get What a great fucking season for Hopper. I definitely liked him last season, and I definitely did, but. They really used that actor to his full potential this season. Excuse me for one second. I gotta switch account. Freeze your little fucking plumber butt off, Mario. Try this again. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. I just want to be safe in a uh, Mario chat, not to say anything to someone wander wandering in. I definitely liked it better. It's not even like a question for me. Like, I liked season one. I loved season two. Like, if it was out of a hundred... <laughs> You know, it, I'd be like, I'd like season two maybe like 10, 20 points more. The more I think about it, the more I like it. 
But they both were really, really good. Like, I can't say anything. They have to me. Or you're fucking... Like, see, both, both seasons were really good. I just personally connect a lot with season two. Sometimes a few things here and there is kind of amazing. Same here, I need to rewatch both seasons. It's not that long. Probably this is most likely next week. I want to watch it one more time and then do a spoiler stream. See if Joe wants to. As well. Not depending on if Joe wants it. If Joe likes it, I'll do it. If uh, I want to coordinate with him. But soon. Growing up, I actually Winston was my favorite Ghostbuster. I mean, everyone loved Bankman because Bill Murray is fucking amazing. Was not a side killer kid, like a dumb kid. And if, if you go, I can be too, you know. Like so, I, I'll be completely honest. Winston was actually one of my favorite Ghostbusters, and I love Ernie Hudson. And it, my Ernie Hudson. I did not play a whole game with Zelda to not use these amazing controllers on something. I don't care if I miss out on a couple of the, a couple of the moves. It's a fucking hard. I'm all about the broken controller at this point. It would take a lot on a Switch game for me not to use the broken controller at this point. Yeah, I'm definitely coming if it keeps lagging. Like I said, I think it's internet, not, not computer oriented right now. But we'll see. we shall see. Shit, get over there.
Oh yeah, it's fu it like trees and shit fell down in my backyard and stuff. Ow! <laughs> we'll see if this continues. And I'm actually not on Steph's computer, I'm on my computer now. I was able to get, I'd say about 50% of my stuff back. Not everything, but enough to like, have me a little less sad. And now I have a bigger hard drive. Oh yeah, yeah bigger hard drive. I to go fucking crazy last night during the stream too, to go towards the end, like when I went to bed. I really drunk or... It's so weird getting hit here and not turning little. Get all the video back, got most of my scripts back, and get all like my music back. Got a lot of stuff. I'm still going through to to see. I got I got more than I thought I was gonna get back. I did not get everything, and it ultimately was just like my hard drive died. So I had to replace the hard drive. I did lose a piece. <laughs> but I didn't get all the recorded stuff back, but I got most of my scripty, scripty kind of stuff back, and I got the most important thing back, which was it's kinda like not personal meaning, I don't wanna tell you guys, but it's more like, eh, if you really wanna hear this bullshit. Um back here when my mother passed. end of uh, February, beginning of March, the day of uh, the funeral, I recorded a big podcast with like a lot of members of my family, and Joe and Matt and a couple of other people that were in there. Mainly about serious stuff, but a lot of television to talk to, and I was going to put it out, but I just haven't put it out yet, I'm not sure if I'm going to, but my uncle or my cousin uncle, whatever, my second cousin, what I always call him uncle, was there, and I'd never really talked to him before, and or, it have been many years since I talked to him, and he was really cool on the podcast, like, really cool, and subscribed and started, uh, being, like, checking out a couple of the streams, but unfortunately, about two months after my mom passed, it might have been a little longer than that, two, three months after my mom passed, uh, he, he died, too, and... So a couple of his kids found out that I recorded a podcast of him, so they contacted me very recently. I mean like the day before my computer fucking crapped the bed, or like two days before my my computer crapped, crapped the bed, asking if where they could listen to that podcast, and I was like, oh, I never actually broadcast, I never posted it anywhere, in fact, I haven't actually li listened to it since that day, and I went back and I listened to it on my computer, and I'm like, oh, okay, okay cool. Uh, and then I wrote them back, and I was like, oh, uh, I've, I've got it, I can, you know, I'll, maybe I'll post it at some point, or maybe, um, I'll at least send it to you so you guys can have it. And literally, like, I'm not even making this shit up, literally the next morning after emailing them is when my computer shit the bed, and I thought I had lost that podcast. And I'm still, like, I'm pretty sure, I'm still, I'm still looking through things, but I'm pretty sure I see the file that is that. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get my hopes up necessarily. It's, it, it's really, at this point, not even for me, it's just, it sucks to tell somebody that you have something like that, and then, like, the next day have to write them back, like, 
Actually, my computer had complete system failure. My hard drive got wiped. I kinda don't have that anymore. I'm sorry. It was like I felt like really shitty sending that email. So hopefully I'm gonna like friggin' uh, turn the podcast into an MP3, which right now it's just like a GarageBand file. You know, share it, upload it somewhere, and then send them the links. Even if I don't make the podcast live, at least I can upload it to my server and have it in MP3 format. So it was just, it was like a really, hey Kyote, it was just a really fucking, like, fucked up, fucked up, like, like, t- timing of the whole situation. It's weird how stuff like that happens. Yeah, like, we're, and it explains a little bit, like, like ultimately all the stuff I, lo- I lost from the show, like, the... Photoshop files, analysis helped me out, made, made me some Photoshop, like if I needed to get it all again, all that stuff's replaceable. And this is what I was saying to Steph too, like everything I had was replaceable, even like the script to the fucking Issues Guy movie, or, or Issues Guy comic book, wherever we're doing it as, uh, which I might get Joe to draw, <laughs> uh, and then maybe have it turned into a cartoon at some point. Anyways, like all that shit is easily replaceable, I can just write it again, it'll probably be better the second time the lost podcasts or videos that I still kind of lost. It's no big deal. Something like that after the day before telling the dude's kids and his fr- and his, uh, his, his wife or his girlfriend the kids that um, like 20 year girlfriend that like oh yeah I don't have that stuff of your dad talking you know like like that was the shit I'm like oh fuck I'm such an asshole like like, I, I suck. I fucking suck because I didn't back up my files. Like, that's when I started getting into the hole. You know, I'm, I'm a public service announcement for, for backing up my files. Seriously, bro, find a way, and there's cheap, cheap ways to do it. Like, back, just back up your shit. Or, like, the best way to do it is probably just get a fucking hard drive or something. You know, they're not that expensive, like one of those like terabit drives or something like that. And just like anything that's important to you, upload that stuff to the, to that drive. I mean, some people tell you to do it online or some somewhere in the cloud, but like just for simplicity purposes, like. But I mean, it's not even just with computer shit like that happens. I remember like losing. Losing a poetry book that I had when I was in high school and stuff like that because someone left it in a locker that was open. This girl I was kind of seeing at the time. I was like, Can I see all your writing? And I gave her like my writing book to look at. And she like left it in her locker with the locker open and someone stole it. Probably just to make fun of me or some shit. But for whatever reason they stole it, they stole it. My first computer fucking shit the bed. But I mean, that shit happens, but I'm glad everything ended up working out. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm all about fucking the cloud. Use USBs, get like one of those like big, thick, big, thick hard drives. Someone was suggesting to me like, uh, my big karma was suggesting like I should get like a solid state, like one of those like big solid state things or something to, to upload all my stuff at home so you don't even have to worry about the cloud, like you're, you're your own cloud. But I gotta say like, Carmine helped out a great deal with shit. When my fucking shit got all fucked up, he gave me some good tangible advice about how to help out my situation, which actually helped protect a lot of my, you know, helped, helped let me get a lot of my files not dead. I mean, so, uh, as always, he helped. My friend Brendan helped. Computer fix a guy brought it to not so much. This game is ridiculously cool. I fucking love it. Like I'm sort of talking and not really paying attention to what I'm doing right now, but but ultimately that's one of the kind of cool things about this game because I'm just going around looking for. 
I really want to dress up like Link. I have a shield, and I have a hat, and you get a tunic, and I do have green pants, too. They're not, uh, they're like pants pants, but they are, like, all green. I need some ears. I need a sword. No, I guess I got a sword, but I have, like, a very heavy sword. The one I used in the Fred Prince of Westeros video. Bitch, I Basically what happened, I can kind of tell the tell story now that I'm separated from it. Um, I mentioned this the other night, but my computer completely died. I took out the hard drive, tried to test out another hard drive that I had, hoping it worked. That didn't work, so I was convinced it was my computer. And I plugged those in a different computer, and I, like, got no files and stuff. I'm like, holy shit, what the fuck's going on? So I ran over to a computer guy, like just a random one, and it was closed. One that's a little bit like, 50 bucks, we check out your shit, don't work on it. I'll tell you, like, I, for I forget what they're getting. It's a pretty chill deal. So, I end up bringing it to this kind of place, this like, like really small, somewhat, I don't even call it shady, but it was like, and it's fucked up there, like, like the first mo the moment I walk in, it's not like, oh, I'm sorry, or anything like that, there's no sensitivity. It's this, like, wo this woman that just, like, looks so pissed off to be doing her job, and she's like, mm, you lost all your stuff, you know, you really should back that up in the cloud. I'm like, yeah, I am aware of that, like, you just tell me if it's, like, like, can you guys check out this hard drive and tell me if it's really dead? You know, number one priority, but also, you know, check out the computer, what's the situation? She didn't say anything about money or anything like that. She's just like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. And I started to explain what I already knew was wrong with the computer. And the dude from the back is like yelling out, screaming with this like really annoyed voice. Tell him to be quiet. I won't figure out, you know, so, not be quiet. He said it in a slightly more polite way. Tell him that I need to get the computer on my bench before I can ascertain what's wrong with it. I don't listen to other people's perspectives. I'm like, okay, and I'm sort of like panicking here for said reasons. How the fuck did I get out of here? For said reasons of thinking I lost this like really important file. So, ultimately... So, I'm trying to figure out what to do here. So, ultimately... Like, they got you by the balls there. You know, it's it's like you go into the doctor for. I'm, I'm forgetting the bit. I have to listen back to the other one to be into the bit. Anyways, it just sucked. So I so the, so I left my shit with them, and they had me sign some bill that said zero dollars on it. I'm like, okay, cool, sweet. It doesn't cost anything to ask or to figure out what's going on. So. They call me probably about 20 minutes later. He's like, the hard, and they're like, the hard drive's dead. Nothing to be done. You're fine. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, is it empty? You know, like, is it a mechanical problem or is it a, you know, a directory problem or something? And they they just ignored. They're like, uh, no, the hard drive's just gone. It's gone. It's gone. And he can do recovery mode if you want him to do recovery mode, but that would be. $96 an hour. Uh, we'll only do two hours to figure out if it works. And I'm like, I'm fucking broke. $200 just to tell me if you can recover my files? Like, no, 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 no. And I, and I sort of like was in panic mode. I'm like, but, 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 but I tried a different hard drive and that didn't work too. It must be the computer, you know, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, why don't you bring that other hard drive down here? And I was like, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe I should pick up my stuff. And she like goes away for a second. She's like, hold. They put me on hold with this cheesy hold music. And she comes back. Uh, the technician would would like to see that other hard drive to make his proper diagnosis on this. And I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll be I'll be down in like 20 minutes. So I like hurry up and I run down there in 20 minutes to to uh, drop off the other hard drive. 
And that's where, that was fried. And again, no, nothing about like money or anything like that. Just take it, take my stuff, and and I go, and I went. So the next morning, Saturday morning, I get a phone call. Uh, or I didn't get a phone call. I called there to be like, oh, I'm just checking to see if my computer is doable. Can I fix like what, what's the situation? You know, treating it almost like a car break. And and he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, the the, the MacBook. The MacBook, uh, both hard drives are dead. You know, they're, they're fucking dead. I'm like, or he did not. He didn't say fuck. He's just like, they're dead. Why waste? Why are you wasting my time? And and I said, is the computer okay? And he goes, as far as I know, like, no, you know, the computer's fine. It's just the hard drive. You need. And uh, and he's like, you want recovery mode? I'm like, um, no. Actually, actually, what I should probably do is just come come by, grab my stuff, and save up and figure out how much it costs to get a new hard drive. I didn't realize at the time that I could get up here, like, a, a, a new hard drive, like, double the space at Jordan's Best Buy for, uh, for, like, 60 bucks or something like that, which, which is reasonable. And I, like, happen to, happen to have, 60, you know, like, a little extra money on me at the time that, uh, that I worked for a job I did. So I was like, okay, 60 bucks is bad. And so, I mean, but I didn't know that until later. But, but on the phone, I'm just like, I'll come by and grab my stuff. No big deal. No worries. And he goes, really? You know, that just, that seems stupid. And I was like, what? What do you mean that that seems stupid? And he's like, well, you've already put in $200 into this. Or you already put so much money into me checking it out. You might as well go all the way and have me recover your data. And I was, or try to recover your data. I was like, what are you, what are you talking about? He goes, he goes, what do you mean what am I talking about? You know, uh, I've been working on your computer for a couple of hours. And, you know, I get paid $96 an hour and I expect to be paid for my time. And I, and I just go, wait, wait, wait a minute. No one said anything ever about money. You know, and I, maybe I'm being a dummy in this situation, but... I was like, let me just come down and talk to you. And like, before I could say it, he hung up with me. So I show up there, and like, basically with like, bit, like he had, he, at that point he was trying to charge me like 200 bucks. And like, I, like I said, I don't have a lot, like I made 100 bucks from this job. And I brought in that, my 100 bucks, and I'm like, I'll pay you half. You know, like, and he didn't want to get paid half. He wanted to yell at me. And, he said, no, there's your shit over there. Get the fuck out of my store. You don't respect my time. You're a piece of shit. The user is trying to con me out of my fucking services. What do you think? I do things for free? And he just kept yelling at me. I mean, like, yelling, screaming his lungs at me about how I waste his fucking time and blah, 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 blah. What did I expect him to do? And, I, and I'm like, I thought you were helping me out doing a diagnosis and then telling me what to do. And he's like, no, I don't do that. I don't fucking do work for free to fucking help people out and I was like I was in a panic I came in here and, like I'm trying to explain myself like legitimately like I wasn't trying to con you I wasn't trying to it was like a misunderstanding you know I'm sorry for the misunderstanding please take half the money and let's call this even and like I'm sorry and he's like no go fuck yourself get out of my store and I started to walk and every time I started to walk out he'd come back out from the back and yell at me again about how I sucked and I was wasting his fucking time. Almost to the point where I was like almost in tears. I wasn't quite like, like almost where like, it was like, don't make the Hulk angry here. Like, I'm like, dude, like, he goes, I don't know, like, like who are you? And what is your, this stupidity that you expect people to do things? And I'm like, I didn't expect you to, like, if you had told me it was money, I was like, your, your, your secretary, your secretary, your front desk person, like, like, man, like didn't manipulate me, but was like, wouldn't answer any questions. You were stuck in the back, yelling things from the back. You, they, you said, just leave my shit, and you gave me a bill for zero dollars. And then he take, rips the bill out of my hand, points in the fine print on the bottom, like small fine print. I wish I kept it because I sort of like, like uh, ripped it up and walked out of there at some point. Pointed at the fine print and said, you read that? That says you agree to pay any service. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay, so the fucking fine print. This is when I lost it a little bit. And I'm like, the fucking fine print? Oh, 
So you work in this town where you're dealing with a lot of people that don't know shit about computers. They walk in here, they give you your computer. Before you know it, you're in $500. So you're telling me you can't recover my stuff and like you just wanted $400. $200 to diagnose it and then $400 to tell me you can't do shit. He's like, well, get the fuck out of my store. You fucking, you're a horrible manipulator. You manipulated me on a free start. And I, right this time, I'm like, like, fuck, dude. Like, you are a fucking asshole. And I, I left, like, in a panic. And this is like at 9 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday that I ran down there because it was like 10, 10 o'clock on a Saturday. So, so, <clears throat> so I go to Best Buy, get another hard drive, plug my other hard drive in there. This is where I talk to Carmine, who kind of gave me an advice on how to, how to uh, save some of my stuff. And I plugged in my hard drive uh, in, through a, uh, like, I bought, like, a capsule to, like, plug my stuff in. And, like, most of my, through a couple of, like, very easy means that took probably about, like, a, a very little time, I was able to see that my stuff was still there. And, like, I don't know dick about Shinola. So he basically was lying about my thing being wiped and basically just wanted to sh uh, manipulate me out of, uh, strong army, out of fucking... $400 or at least $200 in that situation. So, I wake up this morning and I'm uh, looking at my shit. My fucking shit. On my shit. Where is it? And who do I have an email from? But with the subject line, my apologies. My apologies for the misunderstanding on Saturday. This is not an excuse, but it was a long week. Period. Good luck with everything. What a fucking douchebag, right? Like, gave me the fucking apology. You know, I appreciate him sending me that message. Like, he probably doesn't want me to give him a shit fucking douchebag of a review or something. It's just stupid. So it's just like a manipulation. I'm gonna fucking, you know, do at least what I can from a from a standpoint of uh, of like giving him bad reviews and like I don't know much what I have to do. He's like, I've been in business X amount of years and I've never been treated like this. I just think it's a fucking douchebag move. Excuse me, the whole thing is just a pile of douche. So he was trying, like, he was trying to manipulate me. Excuse me. Come up with this. Yeah, fuck Spencer. Fuck Steve. Sorry. We'll call him, we'll call him Spencer. So I got a little distracted. I think there's some funny jokes in there, like that whole thing to be a funny stand-up comedy bit or given a podcast if I perked it the right way. But he really just wanted to manipulate me out of money, which then I start being scared and paranoid because I'm like he was so quick to fucking manipulate to like try to manipulate me out of money there and my stuff was actually there. Did he just steal all my information? I know who to blame if, I, if, I, if my information ends up getting all hacked someday soon. But, I don't know. Pissed me off, upset me. Kind of kicking me when I'm down, so it's a but whatever. I don't want to dwell on it too much. Things to ended up relatively better. Yeah, and he cost himself $100. I legitimately, when I went in there... Legitimately, when I went in there to... On the Saturday with money in my hands, I wanted to pay him half of what he asked me for. Because I felt like it was a legitimate misunderstanding. I didn't take the time to... I was fucking feeling like shit. I was like, fuck, I'm fucked right here. You know, I lost this fucking sense of the podcast. Like, seriously, more than anything in that moment, I was thinking about that podcast that I lost with those people that I just told the day before that I had. And I was like really panicking. 
and like wasn't completely thinking straight and didn't read, read the stuff and, and some part of me thought that thinks everything's like a car like like I thought it was clear that I was gonna get a because the only time they talked about money was when she said yes yeah, you can start to recover your stuff or the $96 an hour, and I'm like, holy shit, that's a lot of money. I'm not paying $96 an hour. I can't afford that. She didn't say anything at that point, like, well, you've already occurred an hour of his work. So, I don't know. I don't want to take, like, so I was willing to pay the dude $100 to kind of say, my bad, and say, okay, I did this job the other day. I guess I lose this $100. Yeah, I'm totally worried about him stealing my shit. Someone said to me in this process, I can't, I can't remember if it was uh, my friend Brendan that said it. He's like, it's like I'd fucking burn my hard drive before I'd uh, give it to anybody or, or ditch it or throw it away. No, data recovery can be really expensive, but like just to assess the problem, like that was like I understand that like the $200 an hour when whatever to, uh, or $100 an hour for him to try to recover my data and can't promise me that. Maybe it's a little pricey, but I get that, but it was like he was trying to manipulate me out of more money once I said I wasn't interested in that. Like, he's like, oh, you're not interested in my services there, so I need to fucking strong arm you out of this, out of this money. That's fuck, Kyoto. That's fucking sick. Like I feel bad. Like, like I felt bad. Like I legit felt bad because I felt like I was. I got a misunderstanding there. I'm like, oh shit. Like I wasn't thinking straight. I totally owe you money, but I'm not paying you two hundred dollars for t just to tell me my shit's fucking dead. Broke is like, I'm gonna. I was gonna have my laptop keyboard fixed, and the dude's like, I will take out your motherboard, you may lose so many things. The fuck? Yeah, he's gonna get his when he fucking downloads all my information. He gets like. Well, if he thinks he's gonna get a lot of shit from me, like, he's sorry mistaken once he opens up my accounts and be like, oh, okay, this is it. We do have the Better Business Bureau. I mean, he's sort of a mom and pop shop, though, unfortunately. I think... I think probably what happened was the next day, Monday morning, I don't think he apolog cares about apologizing at all. The next morning, his... Am I fucking dead here? His uh, secretary, or whoever, his front desk person was probably like, Yeah, well, I never really told him he had to pay money. <laughs> he's probably like, oh, shit. She never told him up front? Cause she didn't. She said nothing about that. She's just like, leave your stuff, he'll tell you what's wrong with it, and we'll figure it out from there. It's like almost her exact words. So she probably told him that. He's like, oh shit, I probably shouldn't have told that guy to go fuck off and then he's evil. Fuck you. Someone talked to him or his his wife, his friend, someone said, Yeah, you can't do that, dude. He was fucking confused. You you fucking like explained to him something. You fucking work in a town that fucking people will just pay anything and not care about it. You fuck that kid. But whatever. I'm gonna talk, stop bitching about it, but it sucked. Oh, 
fuck. Jump, jump, no! I don't have the timing of this down yet. I'm missing everything, fuck! It's just so creative. And it's it solved the problem that I had with all the 3D Marios. Where Mar I just never loved the way Mario felt moving. And I feel like this game completely solves this problem. Pot is the last trip to the candy cock. Lotus, do you need to go outside? You need to go outside, hurry up. I'll be right back, I gotta let Lotus outside before she pees her pants. Come on, Lotus. What I was saying is it solved my biggest problem with 3D Mario's. Mario feels smooth to move. 
I always feel like, felt like he felt a little balky to me in the 3D ones. Face first into a cactus, Bill. I definitely enjoyed 3D World. I, 3D World and Land, like, I think Land's an underrated game too for the 3DS. Until I finish this and can make a proper assessment, those are still my favorite Mario games. I like them better than the Galaxy Series games. I feel like the people that hate on those games are missing out. consider it a different series than this, even though they're all Super Mario. I like, consider this the Mario 64, Sunshine, Galaxy series. But I mean, essentially, it's the same series. To me right now, though, like, there would be three different Super Mario series, if you don't count, like, Paper Mario and stuff. The new Super Mario Brothers series, which I don't know if they're gonna ever make any more of those. The 3D Mario series, which is the main continuation of the Mario world. You know, this is the Prime series. And then 3D World is kind of something different. 3D World and Land. It's sort of a combination of the two. I think so too. I think you'll you'll see a you'll see a new Super Mario for the Switch at some point. They've done it for the last two consoles. I don't see them, see why they wouldn't do another one. Yeah, they're extremely fun. I think the I think it's uh. The Wii one was a little bit more polished, I think, than the Wii U one. Just simply for, like, uh, the level design and stuff. But both games are exceptional. They might in the next one. You know what? Nintendo does watch other franchises and what they do, so they could look at the successes of Sonic, of that, of even Double Dragon Neon, and, and in these sections of, uh, I 
I can absolutely see them having the next new Super Mario Brothers be a little bit closer to a retro look at a old design of like the Super Mario World design or the Mario 3 design. I like when Nintendo is playing with house money, where they are right now with the success of the Switch already. It allows them to be a little bit more creative with some of the games they're going to have come out this generation. Fuck, where is it? Come here, you fuck. I'm going to use you. Come here. Oh, which Tetris you guys play? One day I definitely want to get Mario Kart. It's just there's so many other games I want to play before that. But one day I one day I will get the card of Mario. Love to uh, love to play with you guys. Help it, the moons look like bananas, and I feel like I'm Donkey Kong kind of collecting them. How cool, again, I'm sorry to always like go, how cool would it be? But how cool would it be to have a game, now that we see the Breath of the Wild, the Switch, what they're able to do with Nintendo franchises in the 3D environment with, with this and Breath of the Wild? We need to have, I know it's not going to be the same exact thing because it's not going to be designed by Rare, but Nintendo needs to make or license it off to somebody that will do a great job with it, but I think Nintendo should actually do it themselves, make a Donkey Kong Family 3D game. It's about time for Donkey Kong. Yes, I want the Donkey Kong Country and the Tropical Freeze series and keep licensing out Donkey Kong to other people to do Tropical Freeze games or whatever, but I, I, w I would love to see a legitimate successor to Donkey Kong 64 in the sense that this is a successor to Mario 64. I think I could just see Donkey Kong traversing around universes like this. Very fun. And then if you think about the whole Kong family. Back. I don't know. I don't know if you guys heard what I was saying at the end there, but I was talking about how now that we have, nin now that we know what the Nintendo Switch is capable for for 3D environments and playing this Mario game and playing Breath of the Wild, I really want another Donkey Kong game. I do not have uh, input Switch. I do have a Switch. I mean. Uh, Magical bird? Come here, magical bird. If they could even use a similar game engine that they use in this and just add the Donkey Kong characters and make the moons look like bananas a little bit more and give me like almost like a clone game, 
but with the Donkey Kong characters, and I'd be satisfied. Similar to Mario, I want Tropical Freeze, I want Donkey Kong Country games to keep happening, but I do think there deserves to be another 3D Donkey Kong. It's, it's time. Have a good time with it, Omen. Oh, Lotus, it's okay. Come on. Like, I don't like you talking to nobody. It was some of the best 2D level design I've ever seen in my life. Drop, drop these. It had so many interesting features. No, Lotus. No. Sesame. Why don't they just do the Zelda sound? Why are they even trying to, uh... Why all the subterfuge? Just give me the Zelda sound. dudes. I love the sound. That's, that's almost like an Atari arcade sound. Catch the cuckoos. What are you doing here? You look what's a strange person like you doing in a world like this? 
Hey, you real cat. Mushtaka Wookie? Power up. That was you bet your fucking ass we can get that. Yeah, it's a cross between Star Wars speak, Sim speak, Animal Crossing speak. Where's the dude? Oh, that's the fairy. Come here, sheepy. Dude, you're really this lazy you can't go get your sheep? It's like, it wants to come home. Three cuckoos are still missing. Yeah, the moons definitely look like bananas. Save if I go and do another mission. Which I get all the sheep now. I gotta capture that fucking lizard to cook with them to make a. This banana ripen a little bit. It's so green. Hey. 
Excellent, bro. Cactus. Clumsy hero's back. He may be, he may be in a new sprite, but he's still as clumsy as ever. It was a uh, moon fragment, or a uh, uh, a moon. my nose. Oh, from the uh, cactus. Holy shit. That's fucking awesome. That's excellent attention to detail. find the picture frame and put it there. me a fucking heart. That's insta-kill death, right?
not gonna be good at this. I'm so off with this. The not the clumsy heroes for tag. Zero points. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Tickle my Odyssey's twine, baby. Waiting for an email. Jibber dibber dibber. Me, even at my own ship, I can't get like a health recharge. Eat up any documentary. I'm like sort of a documentary slut. Like Steph Book. What do you want to watch? I don't want to watch a documentary. Exactly. Kind of your opinion. Thank <laughs> you. 
Feels like Earthbound, <laughs> not Earthbound. Like, uh, not Earthbound. The video, the Smash Brothers Earthbound levels. to buy health in town. that again later. I just don't <laughs> spend too much time at the casino. I always do. I bet I got the, uh, was the Stone of Truth and an Ocarina, I know how to use this shit. Oh! 
Why am I having so much trouble with this? Every few years, I have to go back and play Ocarina. I've really been craving to play Majora's. I haven't played that in a while. very exacting. I'm used to like one of those vibrate vibrating sections being a little bit more uh, easy. I was so impressed with how the uh, plant just hanging there looked. You, know, like, you could see like the string hanging off. It's fucking sweet. Oh, sweet. Like right there, the the vines.
back over there. Back up, you clumsy fuck. Such a smart addition. They're a lot of fun, feel very original Super Mario like. Look incredibly cool. Sorry, I just had to give my cat his thyroid medication. Pretty good in the game, I'm just losing to the fucking 
cactus. I definitely need to work on my hat skills. I'm thinking about trying the Stephanie way just to fucking uh, see if it actually matters, but I don't feel like it. So holding it down makes the hat stop. I'm like throwing around the pro controller a little bit. But let's try. Let's let's switch things up. For a second here. Now I'm playing with the uh, the prefer the preferred way they say. easier to do the motion control than the Joy-Cons, but... Not worth it. You can always do it like this, if I have to. You can do so much shit with this fucking hat.
I don't think I've killed the boss in this level. I'm trying to get up there. In all honesty, I'm just sort of like in awe of the game and wandering around with my mouth open. But I see it. But I don't think I have, I have not beat the boss. Oh, thank. run out of everything, do you just never die in this game? And welcome to the live stream, anyone that's been following in and out here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, there's one up in the pillar. Appreciate that, Rainbow. I'm gonna start singing uh, Rainbow Connection.
this is I gotta get the piece of fucking shit. This is I gotta get the other piece of killer. I assume I need to use my hat to jump there. I haven't mastered that, so I hold it and jump off. Well, what's awesome about the hat is it's one of those things that's easy to use, but really hard. Probably take a little while for me to master all the extra tricks, but. Six more, six more. Easy, easy peasy. Never say easy peasy again. Yep, that's where the boss is, right? Finally, I was having trouble getting back here. For some reason, because Charlie, you're a nitwit. Clumsy hero coming to play it all. How can 
can I get in here? Something, right? People who played this game, am I should I stop jumping on top of this thing because it won't actually work? Or am I? Uh... Oh no, because it is. I'm I'm jetting it out, so I just have to keep doing this till it's completely out of the ground. Go home, sheep. Find your home, because I don't know where it is. Of course I do, if it's, uh, if I can do it. I'd love me some food here in chat. Yeah. 
definitely interested. Yeah, please do. Definitely send the link on the Discord. I super appreciate that. Let me see if I can make it work. There's a uh... cut loving something she says. Oh, Thank you so much, Omen, for the, uh, I can't do it when I'm streaming video games right now, but I can use that when I do my own podcast. 
podcasts using OBS at home on uh, the other computer. The main problem is that my television is in a room away from my computer that has OBS on it, and my laptop doesn't run as well. I tried it before. But eventually, I'm going to move this television that we have in the bedroom into my office room, and then I'll be able to do video game streaming where everything is. But for now, I'm sort of uh, dependent on just using the Elgato software right out of the bag, right out of the bag, like with the uh, the downloadable El Elgato, Elgato software for when I do video game stuff. But I will definitely use that so I don't have to have the chat be in that white box. I've been wondering how people do that to make it like clear and shit. So thank you so much for shutting me. I've been, I actually been looking for a tutorial on how to exactly do that. So that's actually really helpful for the streams I do. Not hangout oriented like when I'm doing stuff either with a guest in studio or in a lone podcast. Cut licking whore. That's Stephanie's big one. Cut licking whore. That's why whenever I do Nintendo streams or basic video game streams, I'm either doing it from the PlayStation itself or it's this real basic thing. Because I've actually, a few years ago when I was doing a lot of shit with Taka and we had the Couch Masters, fuck, we had the Couch Masters thing going. I tried so many times to get like OBS to run on my computer or do all that sort of shit, but it just, it just doesn't work well. No, totally. I'm not even running the newest version of the Elgato software, the one that has camera support and stuff, that makes me have, like, severe audio glitch problems. I might try it now that I have a bigger hard drive. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's gonna matter too much. But yeah, eventually I'll move my TV into that other room. I think Steph wants to get a new TV for our living room pretty soon. Excuse me for one quick second.
Sorry about that. Oh, people definitely do that. They come in just because. Ooh. Fuck. Especially with gaming stuff. People just come in to promote their own thing. And you can tell. You can see it a mile away. It's like, hi guys. How's it going? What's up? So... I have a question for everybody. I have this channel and... That is so neat. Congratulations, Omen. That oh, okay, you're just, you're, yeah. Yeah, the guy, yeah. Okay, I thought you were saying you, I'm like, that's fucking awesome, that's a great stuff. We're so gullible, and now also we're like, oh, awesome, dude. We are like believing Taka the other day when he's like, I got a Switch.
You got me too. Like you got you got me really good too. I saw that. I'm like, oh, awesome. Go switch. He built a very big hole in the middle of Fifth Avenue. We didn't think anyone would notice. Big amazing. It's in the upside down now. I did somehow manage to put in a good game against Alan in fantasy football. It was and going into tonight's game, he has one player that he could, he could overcome with. This player needs to get, what is it, like 26 points or something? It's definitely possible considering I sat some guy on the bench. Kareem Hunt needs a huge game tonight. Or needs to get hurt in the first part of the game. <laughs> Like, give him sweet revenge on Alex earlier in the season. Kareem <laughs> Hunt, I I left some dude on the bench this week that had like a 20 point game. Last week, I left Amari on the bench and he had like 30, but I still won anyway somehow. But like this, this week, I left the guy on the bench that could have ended things pretty easy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Back to the USS Odyssey here. So I don't want to jinx it, but I think we've gotten into some sort of a smooth zone with this streaming. It hasn't been running glitchy for a little bit. <laughs> See, this is where it's cheating. Where I'm just like, okay, I don't want to go fucking hunting. I want to go to a different land right now. Should I just buy two? I'm not gonna do it.
They wait too long? more than once and get a second one? Oh, okay. I, I see right up there. I can do it. I can get, I can get two. Oh, no, I can only get one? What the fuck? There's two things up there. Uh. Do I have to, like, get all the other ones first? Besides the bananas? Fire arrows are definitely needed. <laughs> I also need the climbing boots or the uh, the water slickers or something. Analysis, stop yelling! At me. <laughs> I don't care. Freaking caps away. <laughs> Evil capital letters. Larry David would say. Because it was just evil capital letters. on the Depends under ruse.
I haven't heard anything about DLC for this game yet. It didn't have a season pass like, like uh, Zelda. But I assume there'll be DLC for uh, costumes and shit. And I wonder if there'll be more than that. When is it? When is that supposed to come out? Is that holiday season? Cactus 20, Phil 0. these areas I haven't unlocked yet? Holy fucking motherfucks. This game's huge. Meditate to this music. Or master. That's 
same time. Sunny D, I want some purple stuff. Oh, nice, listen to the music. My buzzing is interfering with it. Excuse me while I'm sandwich maker Phil before I do this section. Time to make the sandwiches. Hey, what do you got to drink? We got orange juice, we got we got Kool-Aid, we've got purple stuff. No, no, no. What's that back there? Sunny D, sick. If you haven't seen the commercial, you've probably seen it spoofed on some on The Simpsons or Family Guy or Futurama or something like that. Some show has done a spoof of it. And all the kids are fucking excited about Sunny Day. I want to say some stand-up comedian has a bit about it, too. All oh, those kids were like, blind-eyed rage. I want some Sunny Day. Give me some Sunny Day. Does anyone remember? I've actually talked about this before in the stream. The commercial, it was like one of those anti-drug commercials. It was, uh... It was all about this kid that was like walking into this apartment building complex. He was like, hey Carlos, how about some lewds? Lewds, lewds, lewds. And whenever they said the, the drug, the end sentence of everything was this echoing drug. And then every time Carlos was asked about drugs, he'd always go, no man, no man, no man, no man, like in an echoey sort of way. Hey Carlos, how about some uppers? They'll make you feel up when you're feeling down, down. Down, down. No man, no man, no man. Hey, Carlos, how about some weed? It'll make you feel good. No man, no man, no man. Oh yeah, it is Chappelle that does that. My cousin Craig and I, uh, who uh, was the runner-up of the music podcast, that we did music competition trivia thing. He and I, when I was a kid, probably the best gift I ever got for a holiday season was the PXL 2000. What the PXL 2000 was, was a video camera you could record on cassette tapes, chromium dioxide cassette tapes. Hmm. It's a shame I don't still have it. It came with like a little television set and shit like that so you could like watch the videos you put on. Side story, my mother and stepfather once stole it and shot a dirty movie on it and didn't realize that you couldn't erase the video. <laughs> so I had a horrible view. <laughs> and, anyways, that PXL 2000 thing was fucking awesome. My cousin Craig and I used to remake commercials. And the first one we ever did was the, uh, the Carlos commercial where 
Craig was playing the guy offering me uh, drugs and I would just keep going, no man, no man, no man. Cuckoo racing! No, 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 stay on! That's the most famous one. There was a lot of them at that time. The Carlos one ran for a while. Break, you stupid motherfucking Lannister line! chainsaw. Fuck! Okay, now I'm just, now I'm in a death circle. The death circle is running. I need to take a few second break. Punch my cat in the balls. Yeah, my life. Mousetrap ruled. We still have a ton of board games we sometimes play. Uh, wish I could save right here. I wish I remembered the mouse trap song. Can't do that. 
It's the greatest game you'll ever see. Mouse trap in the lobby. You get the something like that, right? Oh shit! Okay. First off, fuck that musical thing. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. You just try to go again. I think it's funny that giant Jenga is a thing now. Like, you go to some. Stephanie and I were at a wedding, like, out, for outdoor games and shit. Jenga is, like, huge now for, like, they, they have these, like, incredibly, like, four foot tall Jenga sets. Hungry Hungry Hippos is probably my favorite game for all, like, games like that. One of those games that we get every year. Like, I'm gonna play this so much, I break it! Giant Jango only adds to the anxiety. <laughs> Event and then and then use that particular stream key for event to event. But YouTube just changed the way they do stream keys and shit too. It's a little buggy right now.
want to hit you with my hat and possess your body. I won't hurt you. I'll just possess you. And that's cool that you didn't, you never saw that section. That's what's so awesome about this game too. Like, you can get through in a way that I'm, you know, I'm doing different ways to get moons. Attention. Oh, 
I wouldn't mind a few uh, fire flowers scattered throughout, but it's definitely, it definitely mixes it up a lot. It gives a lot more possibilities. Oh, another uh, Splatoon y kind of thing. Oh, cool. Some moons you celebrate more than others. game has a sunshine done right kind of feel to it. I also like how, I think I heard an analysis say this, but it's very true, the platforming in this game feels really 
natural and cool to it. The Galaxy 2 is weird. I don't remember a lot of Galaxy 2. But it's like, I think I just grouped Galaxy 1 and the awesome parts of Galaxy 2 into one thing. I didn't like the overworld change up of Galaxy 2 to make it seem like more like an old school Mario game. But I think still some of the level designs are pretty good. But I think even the ones I like, I sort of adopt uh, being, oh, that's probably Galaxy, but I'm probably not thinking of a few that were fun. I think Steph might like Galaxy yeah, 2 better. Weird enough. Ooh, not weird enough. I remember we were really not liking it at first and then getting away into it. No, not even a little. Everything in this game feels so interwoven and natural. It's addictive as shit. I wanted to put this down like an hour ago. Yeah. Amiibos are a different story. I like how they don't make them necessary things, just fast tracks to get extra stuff. Which is fine.
So I think I am going to... God, this game is so fucking charming, it's fucking disgusting. Um... <laughs> this game is so goddamn fucking charming. I need my boxer shorts. I need to buy everything. Here we go. Mario in his underwear. He's like, Link can be in his underwear. I can be in my underwear too. In a backwards trucker hat. That's how I always wanted my mother. Oh, he's so much lighter. What just happened? What did I just do? What the fuck is going on? I'll grab the one of the flowers will increase my food.
closet here too. As I said, I'm trying to put this game down, but it's not being very obliging. It's saying, Phil, don't put me down. Play me more. The game, I'm hungry. I need to figure out dinner. Dinner will figure itself out. Just keep playing me. Maybe later, okay? Okay, but you're gonna regret it. Talk to you guys soon.